Standing on the river walk, looking down at rushing captive water seeking freedom in Green Bay, imagination calls up scenes of former days here at the first Rapids of the Fox. Rapids de Pair, Rapids of the Fathers, has always been a place of energy and life, a gathering place for many, never a destination for the dull or lonely or those who lacked imagination. The free and rushing water beckons all to come and gather strength and spirit from its never-ending journey. So much to do and see here, soft summer evenings when sunset hangs on the river in a rosy blushing haze, or fall mornings when secretive blue mist hides the dying splendor of manic colors gone berserk. Always the sound of water rushing over rocks, angry, easy, always moving, even under winter ice. Native Americans thrived here, living on fresh fish and myriads of waterfowl. Sturgeon, pike, musky, and ugadwash, the flashing little sunfish, flitting through the water. So many that the natives blocked the river with a fish weir, stood above the rushing water, spears in hand, to boldly take the mighty sturgeon Mishinama as they spawned amidst the rocks below. Ducks and geese in abundance fed on wild rice abounding in the shallows, and pelicans and egrets, cormorants and eagles fed on hapless fish that thundered down the chute and lay senseless at their mercy, floundering on the ancient rocks. Rapids de Pair, Rapids of the Fathers, the first rapids of the Fox River, opening link to the Fox Wisconsin Water Highway leading to the Great River, the father of the waters, the mighty Mississippi, many miles to the west. Native Americans, French voyagers and explorers, and then the black robes came in 1672. Perhaps the Jesuit Claude Alloway fished here with the little native children whom he tried to teach. Marquette and Joliet stopped here on their way to seek the Mississippi. Pollution mars the river now. There is a lock and dam and carp intrude upon the spawning beds. But work is being done. Sturgeon are returning. Pelicans and cormorants abound, and eagles fish again beside the white man's power boats. If you stand on the bridge and squint from a distance, with the noise and wires gone, one could easily mistake aluminum and fiberglass for birch canoes. It all returns so clearly now in my imagination. <laughs>